Welcome back to the hyperbolic morning chamber. This is a chamber where the speed and the rate at which sadness escalates is greater than the normal world. So that's kind of what the Discord's all about. So if you enjoy that sort of thing, you should join the Discord. Also, are now using new space alien keyboard technology. This keyboard is split in two. And everyone is using these keyboards. So if you find someone who's using a keyboard that's not cut in half, you're going to say, hey, stop it. And you tell them to get some help. Because this is the only way to type now. So honestly, if it's split in half, it's just not going to be working anymore. So that being said, we have some enforcers in the Discord who are going to be going around and making sure. So if you get a message from a moderator or one of the stakeholders in Discord, and they ask you to send them send them a picture of your keyboard, you better hope that it's cut in half, because if it's not, it's a tough time to have a keyboard that is singular. So we have some comments here. We have a comment from Papa Smurf, the legend himself, that says, <clears throat> coming from CS1A student, this looks intimidating as F. A. That's how it be. I remember the first time I tried a problem. Uh, Lee code is very, very depressing. <laughs> I remember the first time I did a problem, it was marked as easy, and I literally couldn't even do it. And I was like, I'm doing a master's program right now, and I can't solve an easy problem. So, yeah, but it's always one of those things where you just kind of have to uh, just focus up and get to work. But, yeah, it's definitely not as bad once you get into it. The magic is, is absolutely gone. Once you learn the the tricks and I actually don't know many tricks at all and I'm not very good but once you learn a cut when do a couple of problems you're just like uh I see it but bro Google or Netflix better hire you already true please <laughs> we'll see though we have Poosh that says love the videos man it's five minutes are lead coding I can't do a single problem or get there a hey, true same me too me too yeah this, the leak, let's be honest, the lead code devs, they're bullying us. We pretty much, we pay for a lead code premium and they troll us. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure in the back end of some of these tests, there's, uh, they're doing math.random and if math.random is less than, you know, 0 0.16, then your tests just automatically fail. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. So some days, you just gotta hope you're not doing a problem with math.random turned on. So it just be like that sometimes. And we have a comment from Vikash Beyond, new to programming period. Should I go with Java or TypeScript? I have prior beginning level experience in all, both of them. From Nicholas Gallisher we have, well that would depend, oops. We have, well that would depend on whether you want to do front end or back end. I'd probably recommend starting with Java back end so that you can build that logical foundation. Then you can move to JavaScript and learn the basics of front end. Unless you already have experience, then start some basic projects in web dev. New to programming. Yeah, I think this is all good stuff. I'm gonna, since Nicholas pretty much covered one of the answers, just to answer, just to add some answer diversity, uh, I guess I would say, uh, Maybe maybe the way is to not get lost in the language choice. I think we've all kind of been there though. Even when I started, whenever I started a new project, I kind of fumble around and uh, struggle to choose a project or a tool or a project tool or a project management tool or an architecture or, and I think they call this, I don't remember what they call this, but it's just another way to uh, kind of spin your wheels. I'm not saying that's what you're doing here, but I know for me that's definitely what, uh, ends up happening to me. So I guess to add some answer diversity, I would say I would choose whichever one you feel like you'll stick with more. So if there's if if Java has if you feel like there's something in your gut telling you to choose Java, even if it's just interest, then you should choose it. Or if you feel like you kind of just want to use TypeScript because uh, maybe that's what they're teaching in class or maybe that's what you see the resources for, then I think you should go with that. I think you should try and do uh, anything that allows you to keep the grind going. So I know sometimes when I've thought about questions like these, I end up choosing something which is the most optimal route, like the best language to learn, the best thing to do. But ultimately, uh, maybe sometimes the best thing to do is, is the thing that allows you to keep going. So 
uh, when I've had the chance to choose the thing, I choose the most optimal route. And then the most optimal route is usually the path with the most pain or either pain or it's just difficult. Or like someone's going to say like the most optimal language to learn is C++, which maybe, I don't know if it's true or not, but it's just a lot of pain to go through that. So I think you should try and uh, have fun with it. I think when I started that, uh, I was trying to make an iOS game, so I chose Swift, and that was kind of like my introduction. But it was really just games that I wanted to make, so. Yeah, I'm not sure if that makes any sense, but hopefully there's some wisdom in there. If not, Nicholas has us covered with his answer here, so maybe that's the way. And then we have the great legendary words of our local philosopher, thinker, and ponderer of the greater and larger things on the video named Graf God. We have from Island Eagle, <laughs> Betty bought a bit of butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter. So Betty bought a better butter, and it was better than the butter Betty bought <laughs> better, be be butter Betty bought before. True. This is actually true. <laughs> Where is Betty? We're worried. Oh my god. These comments kill me, man. So yeah, I mean... If you know where Betty is, or you know we how we can get in contact with her, please reach out into the Discord. So, uh, but nonetheless, we must move forward. Unfortunately, we must move forward into the den of the tigers and the lions. And that is LeetCode.com. So we are back once again. We're going to be doing a bit of a shorter session today, just because it be like that sometimes. Sometimes you got to walk to run. So some days we do two hours, some days we do an hour. Some days it's just a 25 minute one. So it is what it is. I'm gonna jump into it. And I'm actually not certain what day it is, but I think it's 156, so we're gonna go with that. And then I think we're gonna jump into it. Oh yeah, I was trying to figure out what problem I was, couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I was trying to figure out what problem to do because we were stuck on a problem. We used to have some tabs open, but those tabs are now gone. So let's find some a few more problems to do and then we can jump right into it. So we have construct the rectangle, Timo attacking and keyboard row. So we're going to try those problems today and see how it goes and then I'm just going to kick start the timer now. <clears throat> Rising temperatures and SQL problems. We're going to skip that. Construct the rectangle seems to be an actual problem. It has a lot of dislikes, though. How are these problems frequent? This must be frequency in interviews. I just, I just wanted. F yeah, uh, yeah. We'll just leave it that way, I guess. But we're just going to jump into it. We have a problem called construct the rectangle. Actually, I just remembered something. Never mind. A web developer needs to know how to design a web page size. Web page's size. So given a specific rectangular web page's area, your job by now is to design a rectangular web page whose length L and width Y satisfy the following requirements. The area of the rectang the area of the rectangular web page you designed must be equal to the given target area. The width W should be no longer than the length L, which means that L is greater than or equal to W. The difference between L and width should be as small as possible. Return an array, or I guess a tuple, of length and width where these two statements are true. And L and W are the length and width of the web page you designed in sequence. So here we're given a problem. So we have area, which is equal to four, and we have to define a tuple such that L is either greater than is less, no, is greater than or equal to W, and it's as small as possible. So the target area is four. 
all the possible ways to construct there are 1, 4, 2, 4, and 4, 1. According to requirement, 1, 4 is illegal. So the length, the length of length, so the length L is 2 and the width W is 2. This problem, I already see why it has so many dislikes. This makes no sense. Area is 37, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, the only thing that makes sense that you could get this for is interest now. So we're given an area, and we have to pretty much create the length and the width. There's multiple ways to reach the length and the width. So we pretty much have L and W, and we need a way to get L. No, we have area. We need L and W such that these requirements are true. Apparently there's three requirements potentially. The width W should not be larger. The width W should not be larger. So L is greater than or equal to W. And the difference between L, W should be The smallest it can be. I think the first. I guess the first way I'm thinking of going about this is if we just generate all the areas. What if we generate all areas, and then we can just filter down. Filter down till we find what we're looking for. So, if we generate all the areas that are possible. I mean, generate all. L and W, such that L, oh, such that L times W equal to area. Then we can just then filter down so that L is greater than or equal to W and, uh, And the absolute value of L minus W we want the absolute value of L minus W and then we'll take the smallest version of that so the first thing we have to do is just generate all the areas so if we're given a number like one two 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 how many how many ways can we multi how can we, how can we figure out but it can be multiplied by the first thing so we have options which is just going to be an array of tuples which is always and we have to check if area can be zero it can't so we know at the minimum we're always going to have uh, Area and one is always an option to start. So area and one is always an option to start with. And the question is if we had something You could just check all the numbers it's divisible by. That seems kind of nutty. Maybe then we would just blow up the heap. So basically we started something like one, two, two, one, two, two.
No, that wouldn't work either. How do you generate all the lengths and widths? I guess you could just do, uh, you could do two for loops up to area and just check if they equal, check if they equal area. So you could do for let L equals one, L is less than area. And actually, if that's the case, we could actually remove this because we would get that as a given if we do L is less than or equal to area. Do L plus plus and then we can actually change this to W and we'll just say if L times W equal equals area Now that I'm thinking about this, we actually don't even have to do any filtering. We can just do this all in one go. If L times W equals area and L is less than L is greater than greater than or equal to W. Uh, L times wait, yeah, L times W is equal to area and L is greater than or equal to W. And we'll want to take the difference between them. We'll let smallest difference be equal to infinity. And what we'll say is and math dot absolute value L minus W has to be greater than, wait a second. Should be as small as possible. Okay, yeah, and we'll just say is less than smallest difference uh we'll say rect equals it's just empty to start and this is actually what we'll actually return we'll say rect equals oh the new keyboard adjustment is killing me uh, and then we'll say smallest difference equals math absolute value of L minus W I wonder if we remove these the third test case if this even works. It does work. But once you get sufficiently large enough, then I guess n squared is unacceptable. Where is the unacceptable part of this? I see. So we're already at we're already at uh, 200 milliseconds. Once I turn this into 100,000, yeah, which well, is not going to work, especially since especially since 
the number goes up to 10 to the 7 but n squared is unacceptable so maybe the wave is maybe the wave is oh wait I'm sorry I clicked discussion <sighs> How can we generate all the rectangles? I feel like there's definitely some math to this. L has to be greater than or equal to W. I guess I'm realizing now this can also just be less width is less than or equal to L. That's still unacceptable, which is crazy. Maybe there's a way that you can do this in linear time if we change the order. If you start at 37 and you go downwards, yeah, what if we started at 30? So what if L and W started at 37? And W started at 1 minus, or pretty much L. That way we could return the first number that satisfies this instead of doesn't make any sense yeah the related topic is math oof I feel like there's just some way to
The W is always less than or equal to the square root W is always less than or equal I see Oh my god, I put it in the wrong spot. Let's put it right here. Looks like we passed way more test cases though. W is always less than or equal to the square root of the area. That was the hint. W is always less than or equal to the square root of the area. So we start searching at square root area till we find the result. Hmm, our version is slightly fast. Actually, maybe they both. Nah, this one feels like a Hail Mary to me. Yeah. Is an order of which we can work with this. can do this in linear time. Mm -hmm. If W starts at 
square root of area, what we can do is actually w minus minus instead, and we'll say, well, w is greater than or equal to 1. And then we can let L equal We can say, what if we said while well, L was equal to W, L is less than area, L plus plus. This is the same loop basically, except I'm hoping if we exit. No. Understand. Yeah, this is a mess. I hate these math problems. Don't feel like this one makes a lot of sense. I might just check out the solution. It doesn't feel like there's a lot to be gained here. Just basically more math. But I'll think about it some more uh, tomorrow. But that is a wrap.